among the challenges in treating MS patients is trying to mitigate risk and maximize efficacy of medication. Uh, we have several very high efficacy medications that we use frequently to manage relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. And natalizumab is one that uh, has been out for an, uh, more than a decade. It has one notable risk, um, well known, I'm sure, to, to the audience, um, and that is of an infection, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. And so we follow for biomarkers of risk, uh, specifically JC virus antibody index. And when we detect an antibody index that uh, is associated with increased risk, we often will discuss a switch. Um, and transition from natalizumab um, to any agent, I think needs to be done a bit carefully because natalizumab is an agent that can be associated um, with some rebound disease activity and finding a way to transition people effectively from natalizumab to another high efficacy therapy um, without allowing for um, disease activity or rebound is critical. So we have practiced uh, this and um, developed a method for transitioning between natalizumab and ocrelizumab, where we feel like we found a good um, middle ground of not allowing for disease activity, um, but also doing something that's safe and appropriate. Um, so in this publication, we just described our approach, which uses a really minimal um, washout, um, no real washout, really a pretty direct um, transition. Um, and we found this to be effective. Um, and so we just wanted to contribute to the um, published experience of how to transition patients safely. Um, and nobody should feel like he or she is sort of stuck on the therapy that he's on, um, that there are, you Know, thoughtful approaches that can be made to transition if uh, if the risk feels too great.